All right. Hello again. We're back. I don't know what happened. Nothing happened. This is the first time. How's it looking now, everybody? Can you Hi, can you guys see the game and us and everything? This is a message for Mr. Travis Touchdown. Just calling to remind you that you haven't returned one of our rentals. Let's see here. It's Let's see. um final... It looks like it's going. Oh, okay, cool. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Be sure to return it. Um, awesome. Have a nice day. I'll start over real quick just to be safe. Uh, this is Grasshopper James, Grasshopper Manufacturer Community Manager, along with my illegitimate step colleague, uh, Maddie Taylor Green. And we're going to be taking on Shinobu from No More Heroes One Today. Uh, we were talking about. Uh, they were talking about big, big German, German jugs, jugs and, <laughs> and uh, it's actually Trinity Bringer, you're right. Uh, I got so embarrassed I couldn't say colleague. And I had to end the stream. Um, I, I, I ended uh, the stream. I was embarrassed. I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I have problems respecting women. And, you know, referring to Maddie as a colleague was just, you know, that's a bit too woke for me. So sorry about that. <laughs> All right. I'll look like a little baby Jean. So I am playing on New Game Plus on Bitter, which was probably a stupid decision because when I was uh, preparing for this, I kept dying. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. For some reason, there's a glitch in this version where Travis's glasses come off when you put him in the closet. I don't know why, but let's go ahead and dress up Travis. So let's get some numbers going on in the chat. Let's get a it's number a for glasses. Got one through five for glasses. Five. All right, we going with pink. Nice, nice. Jacket, we got one through ten. One. All right, going classic glasses. T-shirts. Uh, just getting so many numbers. We got one through one or zero through one thirty-six for t-shirts. I think I have most of these, but there might be a few missing. 17. Oh, we got we got a cranberry shirt. Cute. Jeans, we got 1 through 12. <laughs> 6. Those are hideous. And belts, we got 1 through 10. Oh, a lot of people wanted 12 for the jeans. We'll put on his pink pants. This is awful. <laughs> Those okay. are kind of, kind of badass, actually. He's uh, yeah, they don't look as good when you don't have his, his, his... You don't have his whole outfit, though. <laughs> this is fashion. Alright, what belt are we going for? <clears throat> 1 through 10. Three. Okay. There we go. His glasses will be back soon. I don't know why they fall off when he's on his closet. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful man. All right. Let's pet Jean. Let's play with Jean. Gotta play with Jean. Regardless of what you wear him, he is still Bay. He is indeed Bay. That's true. Look By at the way, how uh, small Jean is. She's such a little baby in I'm, this game. I'm. Uh, I'm probably gonna screw up the pronunciation again, but uh, our buddy Erdor here uh, is asking, "What's up with the hundred question kumite?" Uh, I promise we're still working on that. Um, the main problem is we've got literally like one dude on our entire like video production team right now, and he's been doing a whole bunch of stuff and he's been super busy. But he he has been working on it, and it's 100% definitely coming up. Um, uh, we actually had a meeting just yesterday, and he was working at it. Uh, he was working on it as we were speaking. So the the hundred question committee is definitely still coming up. I'd also like to thank uh, Erdor for totally reminding us the other day that we had uh, somehow forgotten to put the last stream up on YouTube. So thanks for that. It was it was about a month and a half late, but we we made it up there thanks to thanks to my buddy here. Thanks a lot. All right, now we get a call from Sexy Sylvia. Why the hell are you telling me this over the phone? Right? Because I cannot decide what to wear to the association's party tonight. 
Find fictional men says, how do you make Travis run? So that is an upgrade that you can buy um, with the with the whatchamacallit balls yeah, that you collect. This is, uh, like I mentioned, I'm playing on Noob Game Plus, so I have all the upgrades. And, uh, yep, you just gotta buy it, and then you can hold B and you can run. This is basically exactly how Maddie talks to me at work, too. It's, it's really demeaning. <laughs> well, constantly hurting my feelings. Well, I yeah, guess not. that's just how I talk to everybody. All right. Sylvia is indeed sketchy as hell. <laughs> Sylvia is probably one of the sketchiest characters throughout the entire series. That's why we love her. <laughs> All right. Let's head to the high school and fight a teenager. Let's go beat on some kids, you guys. You so heard it here. That's what Travis does. That's why we love him. Meow. Cool kids go to high school to beat on teenagers. Gosh, I can't get off the stairs. He makes so much <laughs> dust when he runs. <laughs> That's a Wiley Coyote shit, really. <laughs> All right, let's try to not crash my bicycle because that's my bicycle, whatever this thing is, motorcycle. Because <laughs> that's also what I kept doing when I was playing earlier. Don't forget, you guys. Maddie lives in like the middle of nowhere, so you know, bicycle like futuristic speed racer akira style motorcycle it's all the same thing she is she doesn't know what's going on i don't know any of this stuff all we have are feet walking okay all right so while uh while we're on our way to go abuse some oh, miners, sorry we're here uh, oh damn it maddie <laughs> Well, screw it. I'm going to overtalk anyway. So uh, today, again, we're going up against Shinobu, as you can see, uh, scraped into the street there. Just uh, some quick info on Shinobu. Her uh, her real name is Scarlett Jacobs. And uh, basically, uh, she was uh, she's one of the OG weeps. Uh, she was a weep before it was cool. If I mean, you know what I mean. But... Um, She's one of the one of the couple of characters that appears in every single No More Heroes title, and is actually playable in two of them. I believe uh, Part Two: Desperate Struggle and uh, Kappa Strikes Again. That's true. Correct info. Good job. Die, teens. Are these teenagers? Or are they just like weirdos who hang out at the high school? <laughs> hey, one of those scenarios is kind of problematic, and the other one is actually kind of, you know, you're doing a social service, I guess. DJP Del Tondo, long time no see, what's up, dude? Shinobu is indeed best girl. Yeah, we love Shinobu. Erdor says, "What? But what is up with the difficulty spike in the boss fight? Like, yeah, that we were actually talking about that before we started." So, so I think, yeah, Shinobu. Honestly, I personally think she's one of the hardest fights in the game. I think she's maybe only second to Queen, and it is definitely a huge difficulty spike because going from uh, Doctor Peace, who has maybe like three different attacks and they're quite easy to learn and dodge and then you get to Shinobu who has uh like 12 or so and she uh, so you have to learn all her dot all her moves and then also she has this thing where she gets harder during the fight because when you first start fighting her you can get pretty big combos off of her but then about halfway through you're only about able to get one to two hits uh and yeah, she is a hard freaking fight. I am hoping I don't lose to her, but I very well might. All right, so Maddie managed to get through the McConaughey's out in front of the school. And now there's more inside. Okay. 
Gary V says charge attacks work one with her bosses since you can chunk their health even if they're blocking. So, Maddie, there's some, uh, some pretty solid advice for you. Okay, we'll try it. And then if I die, it's all your fault. I was the one the one way I cheese on this shinobu fight is I just like hide behind a pillar and uh, just wait for her to do her um, taunt when I go attack her. Did you just say cheese? Cheese, yeah. Is that oh wow, is that something that the that the, the hip young kids still say? No. I, I honestly no, I am no I am oh. I am old. <laughs> And that's what old oh, people say. I'm, I'm way older than you, and that's what we said back in like junior and high yeah, school. Yeah, no, playing, like, I mean, I remember it. I, doing shit, so, so I remember cheese. The, the reason I know that term is because of Primal Rage. Because when you would play as the little baby dinosaur, he had like this down slide, and if you kept doing it, if you kept doing it over and over again, this little uh, symbol with like a like a no cheese sign would pop up. <laughs> and I was like, why does? Oh, I am on fire. Um, and so, yeah, and so I was, and when I was a kid, I was like, why does it say no cheese? Yeah, well, I used to hear that all the time, like, usually it was, uh, playing Street Fighter 2, and someone's, basically anything that anyone would do with Chun-Li against any other character was getting, why are you cheesing, man? Quit cheesing, dude! Quit cheesing! And, yeah, fast forward, like, 99 years to, like, 2023, and... I'm hearing it again now from like from by, from my perspective, a young person, and just kind of blew my mind. Yeah, don't don't trust me on what modern <laughs> kids say though. I have no idea. A rad school says, yeah, the hip young kids say cheese strats too. So. Oh. Cheese strat, Maddie. Cheese, cheese strat. Strats, to you. Sorry, I was I was close. Hey, also, uh, Grisoleo says, is this an allowed stream? Uh, I assume so. Uh, in, in what context? We're about to get fired. <laughs> this is not well, thanks allowed. Thanks to Japanese, uh, Japanese labor laws, I basically can't be fired unless I like physically assault Maddie or something, but Maddie is kind gotten, of on a... Uh... I've gotten pretty close. <laughs> I'm glad I live so far away. <laughs> I'm getting me too for shit I didn't even do over here, so thanks a lot. Dr. Grambo says you're young at heart, James. He's to us. Man, I am so goddamn old at heart. I'm. I'm he's even. He's uh... even older at heart than he is in like the rest <laughs> of his body. I've got about six weeks left to live physically, so this thing would get better. It's actually why we're having this stream. It's to celebrate James before his heart. <laughs> Caves in. It's my celebration of life. Got some blueberry cheese brownie going on here. There was one thing that I I wanted to do before I before I leave this mortal coil. Let's go just slice up a bunch of high school kids. And Maddie's helping me realize that. Yeah, in a good way. Pilk. What the hell is pilk? Pilk is Pepsi and milk. I don't know why oh, someone's God. I don't know why someone's talking about it, but that's what it is. This modern kids uh, Bryce Bowl ITV says uh, I'm sorry, Bryce Bowl TV says modern kids drink pilk, which I guess was a popular thing in the fifties. Oh man, like people in the fifties were fucked, man. Okay, no, but have you ever had an egg cream? Uh no. It's I... like an old fashioned fountain drink that's milk and like soda water and chocolate syrup and it's so good but it's something that only old people drink and when i was a kid i would go to our local sweet shop and i would order one and then every time i ordered one they'd be like uh i have to look up how to make that and i'm only aware of the egg cream because of uh uh oh shit, what was that show called justified because of the show Justified with Timothy Oliphant, there's this dude who keeps drinking egg creams. They're good. And I, I didn't even realize it was a real thing, not from the show until you brought it up just now, but... So we egg got cream. electrified, because we do. <laughs> Someone turned on the sprinklers, so we gotta run. Gotta it's like he's about to shit his pants, actually. <laughs> he's doing the frantic, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, walk. Is that what you do when you have to shit your pants? That's exactly what I look like when I'm about to shit my pants. Either that, or depending how many beers I have had, just and apologize to my wife later. All right. Oh, we gotta open this. Charge up 
up our guy again. Ready. Mountain Dew and Pepsi mixed together. I, I can I can. That do sounds that. fair. That's like when when I was a kid, we'd like and you'd go to like one of the restaurants that had like the self serve sodas, and we would mix them all together and call it a graveyard. So do kids still do that? Oh, you guys that? call it a graveyard? Yeah. We, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna get banned for using this word, but we used to call it a suicide. Oh. You know, it's it's kind of insensitive these days. But yeah. We we thought we were badass mixing like you know Pepsi and Diet Pepsi and Orange Crush yeah. and Sprite. So easy. When I worked at a pizza place, I used to mix Dr Pepper and orange soda, and I called it a sunset. That was a pretty good Aww. mix. Aww. Yeah. It's kind of poetic. Thank you. <laughs> we also we, have... we also would just chuck stuff in the deep fryer when we got bored. <laughs> and then uh, one time we made a pizza pizza where we cooked a pizza and we cut it up and then put it on another pizza and uh, my coworker he ate it and he said it tasted like razor blades <laughs> because there was like an entire burnt pizza on top of another pizza so that was unsuccessful <laughs> Meanwhile, kids in China are learning algebra at like age two, but over here in America, you know. <laughs> yeah, I had to get a job when I was 14. <laughs> Thanks, America. I got a job when I was 15, but I uh, was fired after my first day. So what did you do? I was, uh, I, was, I worked at a Chinese restaurant in my neighborhood. I was a dishwasher, and I decided to partner You got fired as a dishwasher? <laughs> Well, I decided partway through that I just didn't want to do washing dishes, and I'd rather just, like, eat egg rolls and uh, bullshit okay, with, fair. like, the customers. That's fair. So, like, you can't just keep grabbing food and, like, talking to customers. Like, get back there and, like, wash dishes. I'm like, but I haven't even been paid yet. Like, that's not how this job, that's not how a job works, dude. And they kicked me out of the first day. That's hilarious. Red Orr says, do you all have an air fryer? Maddie, do you, do you have an I air fryer? I had one when I was back in the States. I don't really have space for one here because Japan apartments are tiny. But yeah, I was definitely on board the air fryer chain. I've only ever heard of those. Like, what, what exactly is an air fryer? Is it something it's, that I should probably It's basically get? like a convention a, or a convection oven. So it's like you can put like fish sticks in it and it makes them all crispy. So like a toaster oven or... Uh, not, not like a toaster oven because it, it does like the air thing where it blows air around so it cooks things more like thoroughly and you can use it to cook like anything but it's really good for like frozen food especially oh my god these guys are totally kicking my butt <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a, a convection oven is either. So no. I'm not. <laughs> I got a microwave and some other shit that my, my wife knows how to use. Is it a microwave or is it a denshi rangy? Because those are totally different. What, are, are you screwing me? Or are they no, different? because like you can put, well like Denshi Rangy has like the, you can put like metal in them if you put it on a certain setting. And they have like Wait, the thing, and they have like the metal thing where you can toast, you can like toast bread in it. Oh, you mean like an oven toaster or whatever? No, I don't know. Jap Japan's weird. Well, I mean, Dainty Dainty is literally just like a microwave though. And then there's the other thing that you can make like toast and stuff with, which is like... No, but mine has a like a metal plate. Like if you take the normal plate off, this is very, this is very uh, relevant talk right here. But no, if ooh. fucking guitar stream. All right, I got we got Super Saiyan Travis going on. Enough, so for, ta for enough talk about microwaves. What, what Maddie's trying to say is always put metal in the microwave. That's exactly what I'm Always put salt saying. in your eyes. Always put salt in your eyes. Yeah. If, and if, if your iPhone, if you drop your iPhone in a pool, stick it in the microwave, you know, classic stuff. If you drop your iPhone in the water, you're supposed to mix it into fried rice. And then... get to have beef katanas too. I don't think that's fair. I think I should be the only one with a beef katana. 
Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of biting their shit, aren't they? Yeah, at least they don't have like full biting weakness, though. That's what I have over them. I'm I'm still not really sure about how the, the about the whole background thing. So are these supposed to be like high schoolers or are they like? Like some kind of 21 Jump Street style, like I don't know. They just sort James, of you're, the high school the, you're the one with all the facts. You messing with me? Well, yeah, but I mean, at the same time, this just doesn't make any goddamn sense a lot of the time. Yeah, games, you so. know, you know, Grasshopper <laughs> games are really well known for making sense. So this is a this is a big overstep. I can't believe I have to actually allow the word Hooters as in a reference to the rest of Okay, yeah, we need to change yes, our block allowed. settings because I, yeah, <laughs> I think it's a little... I think it's a little heavy for especially the kind of content we have. I like how yeah. we're like, there's just like fountains of blood and it's like, oh, sorry, you can't say Hooters. If someone wrote a dollar sign, dollar sign, and you know, <laughs> Twitch is over here clutching its fucking pearls. So... It doesn't even allow censored ass. Uh, I I gotta allow Hooters again. Come on, man! Just allow Hooters. Free the <laughs> allow, Hooters. Allow Hooters forever. <laughs> Can you send a professional? Wait, wait, a professional wait, 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 wait! Who's talking about yeah. Hooters? Why, why are people talking oh, about Hooters? Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Hooters and Buffalo Wild Wings sounds good right now. Oh. So DJP Del Tondo. Yeah. And I miss I miss I miss B Dubs. But I also am like a loser who doesn't eat hot wings. I I get the ones that are like at the bottom that are not hot at all. They're like teriyaki flavor. I've never actually been to Hooters or had hot wings before. I don't think I've been to they, Hooters. They do sound super good. But I've been to where the heck am I going? I go the wrong way. I was too busy thinking okay. about Hooters. So uh, another dude here who, uh, again, I don't want to butcher the name, says, Grasshopper Manufacturer, can you send a professional looking and professional smelling email to the people at Games Done Quick requesting that they allow Killer7 speedruns at their event? Wow. Um, that's cool with me. Uh, why do they, why do, at... do they give a reason why, why they block Killer7? Is it just, is it because of like the, is it because of like Kaede or something? Or is it just too much blood? Lost. Something happened. Did I mess something up? Oh, you Simna. Okay, thanks, Simna. Uh, Simna says they don't say why they have been denying it. Um, I'll make a note of that. Uh, we have no problem with people. Doing oh yeah, no, it has nothing to do with us. It has to do with the content of the game. Okay, oh, okay. I think something so... might have uh, glitched out because I cannot progress <laughs> right now. <laughs> Um, I think I might have to start over, because... <laughs> Rad Skull has a point. That's it, Maddie. You've killed all the heroes, and now there are no more heroes. That's it. Game's over. Because I am trying so... to find where to go, and there is nowhere for me to go. Oh, wait. No. Just kidding. I'm an idiot. Nobody, well, Maddie... nobody pay attention to that last <laughs> minute of what I said. I, didn't, I forgot I could go up the stairs. Alright, well we got a call from Sylvia now, so let's forget about me being stupid and listen to this. This is, there are other violent games and, con and games with the uh, sexual content, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, you know what? Sure, I'll I'll try and contact them and say hey. Well, uh, yeah, I'd like to know the reason. I'm wondering because like, I don't know. Like, I would think like maybe it's the like Kaede slitting her wrists might be too much if for them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But uh. For, for what it's worth, uh, as far as 
Grasshopper is concerned, uh, if anybody watching wants to do speed runs or, you know, just regular runs of our games on Twitch or whatever platform, uh, you're totally welcome to go for it. Absolutely. We we love people playing our games, getting the word out there. Uh, yeah, absolutely feel free to go buck wild with any of our titles if you want. Will you do any, uh, DJ P. Del Tondo says, will you do any playthroughs of Killer7 in the near future? Uh, what do you think, Maddie? Would that be something you'd be I've been thinking for? about what boss might be interesting to do. Um, uh, like the first one I think of is Blackburn, but she's such a hard fight that I suck at, so I don't want to play, and I don't want to want everyone, like, watch me play and, and be miserable at that fight. Um, <laughs> But I mean, yeah, I think Killer7, like the boss fights in Killer7 are pretty short, but Killer7 is fun to watch through anyway, so I would love to do Killer7. Alright, here we go. Time to meet Shinobu. Time to meet our girl. A rankings fight? Yeah, how about it? Alright, can you give me a minute? Wait for me in the hallway. Erdur's got it. This is uh, voice actress Kimberly Brooks, who is indeed awesome. <clears throat> Mind if we do this somewhere else? You're the boss. I always love this Stop shot. Checking me out like Colors that. of it are really nice. That is a beautiful yeah, shot. I like this. Such a gentleman. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking with me? Bet they didn't offer much resistance. It's improved by Travis's pants, too. You got no idea how hard it is to hide your true self around here. Hey, I'm not accusing anybody. A real gentleman. I just turned my back, but you didn't strike. You are fucking with me! It's actually pretty hard to take cheap shots when your enemy is as bloodthirsty as yourself. People like us think alike, don't we? Shall we? Huh? You will pay with your life! At last I have my chance. I will now avenge my father! Something tells me you watch too many samurai movies, little girl. Sonic Sword! Holy... What the hell was that? Alright, time to get my butt kicked. What's that in your hand? Alright, let me uh, check, get back to some of the stuff in the chat here. Um... Uh, DJP the Pumble says for oh, the silver case. Uh, sometime in the not too distant future, we will be doing some silver case related uh, streams. Um, it may be Maddie, it may be actually me myself for once, uh, picking up the slack and uh, going through some of it. Um, but yeah, the silver case is definitely on the table. Um, Erdor says Maddie, uh, there is a possible, or sorry. The is it possible that you can do uh, Killer is Dead? Um, what do you think about that? Man? Yeah, that's, that's I mean, like pretty much any. Day. Yeah, pretty much anything. It would be fun in Killer is Dead, like the train fight. That's one of my favorites. That one's just really weird. It's a lot of fun. JP Del Tondo says, how about Lollipop Chainsaw? Um, to be honest, we will probably not be doing that uh, for reasons. <laughs> uh, we, we appreciate the uh, we appreciate the request. Uh, Jerry View says, I love Shinobu's theme. Uh, Shinobu's theme was so hyped that they did a chiptune remix of it in TSA. Shinobu's theme is indeed badass. Yeah. Shinobu's theme song was by uh, a musician named Masafa, uh, Masafumi Takada. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Season of the Samurai is the name of the song. Uh, it's got that, that bitch in like repeating riff and then kind of like builds up in the second half. It's, it's an awesome track. What's that 
Why am I getting asked to allow the term egghead? What the hell is wrong with this stuff? Egghead, the the worst possible thing. Is Egghead call like racist against somebody now or something? Or... I don't know. I don't know what what. How did our filter get set so high? What? Do you know? How that? Okay, that's the one other thing about Shinobu is is her taunt can actually hurt you if you like get too close. That's because the kids are too sensitive these days. You know? These, uh, these, these damn millennials, or whatever. So Simna says, I've heard a rumor going around, but I want to see if it's true. Is Grasshopper held back from making Killer7 content due to Capcom's involvement? Uh, I actually haven't heard anything about that personally. It's, um, it's more that we just don't own it, so if we want to do anything with Killer7, we have to work with Capcom. Yeah, it's not like anyone is telling us, no, you can't do it. It's just we, we I mean, can't just go ahead and do like, it without asking. Yeah, it's like obviously <laughs> there was the collaboration during Travis Strikes Again uh, with Killer7 and Dan Smith. So, like, you know, Grasshopper can use Killer7 characters, but we don't own them. So we have to work yeah. with Capcom if we ever want to include anything with Killer7 in our games. Um, we've talked about this before, but the only games that grasshopper currently owns in full are uh silver case uh flower sun and rain 25th ward and shadows of the dam and mario kart and mario kart <laughs> just, that's just wait wait for the dlc mario kart with travis <laughs> it's gonna be his me again the travis me is coming to mario kart Oh my god, I keep getting hit by her stupid taunt. This isn't going very well. Partly because I'm distracted, and partly because I'm not good at video games. Oh, uh, check, check out Maddie blaming you guys. That's a real classic, yeah, Maddie. Stop making me suck, everybody. Yeah, it's their fault. Uh, Dr. Grabbo says, you guys fully own Fu and Notorious too, yeah? Um, Notorious? I believe we do Fu? That's, I'm not sure. Uh, since Fu originally appeared yes, in Over Heroes 3, part of NMH3 is probably under. I'm assuming it's mostly Marvel. Yeah, we do own Marvel. Fu's own no, Mar by Marvel. Marvel is, <laughs> I, I was I was abbreviating it. You know, I was abbreviating you just, it. You just let us. You just let our 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 it Marvelous slip country. that Fu's part of the MCU. <laughs> Fu is actually uh, uh, Kang the Conqueror. So you heard it here first, you guys. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure Fu would be mostly owned by Marvelous, uh, and only partly owned by us. And BB Boy 20 says, isn't Notorious some Fire Pro? I believe you're right. And so, uh, Fire Pro is actually also not owned by us. That, uh, that was originally owned by a company which no longer exists. So I'm not sure. Maybe Spike Chunsaw? I don't know. I don't want to start any any bullshit. So yeah, I'm not just gonna basically it, but... basically those four games I mentioned. Anything yeah. outside of that, uh, we have to work with other companies um, if we want to use. So just kind of keep that in mind as to if you're ever wondering why we're not like actively making things for those. Can we browbeat Capcom into putting Killer7 into MVC4? Um, I live about like half an hour or 40 minutes or so away from Capcom, so I may be able to arson Capcom into putting Killer7 in MVC4, but uh, <laughs> I'll see I'll see how it goes. This is what I'm talking about when I use the pillars uh, to my advantage. Uh, because I just keep one in between me and Shinobu, and she can't hurt me. It also causes her, if if there's anything blocking uh, Shinobu's like line of sight to you, she'll generally do her taunt. So but then I run into her taunt, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, somebody brought up uh, the uh, the voice actor Kimberly Brooks earlier. And um, yeah, Kimberly Brooks, she's uh, 
she's been doing she's one of the the voice actors who's been with uh, no more heroes throughout the whole series uh she's been in every game so far doing shinobu and um i didn't realize until i was looking her up the other day that uh, she's actually got a pretty extensive and impressive resume actually both the uh the japanese and english versions of shinobu's voice actor uh, Kimberly Brooks, she's been in uh, Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, The Simpsons, South Park, um, a show that I'm only aware of because my daughter loves it, but Superhero Girls, where she plays Bumblebee. Um, she's been in the, the Batman Arkham whatever games. Uh, she was also in Lollipop Chainsaw, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Um, and the Japanese version, uh, Eric Tamura, she was... Uh, she was in the, uh, the anime Blood Plus back in the day. Uh, she was also in an anime called Tokyo 24th, 24th Ward, which is, has absolutely no relation to any of our stuff. Um, and she also plays Batgirl on Superhero Girls in the Japanese version. Uh, she was also the default voice for, uh, for Juliet in uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, on, at least in the Xbox version. And she's been in a handful of the Street Fighter games. So yeah, the uh, the voice actors doing Shinobu in both English and Japanese are uh, pretty established, uh, impressive as hell voice actors. So props to them. Now, I get a stun on her, and it is not going well. Scooby Doo, yep, Erdor. She was in some Scooby Doo stuff as well. She was in Psychonauts. Yep. Oh, who did she do in Psychonauts? Uh, I remember seeing Psychonauts on a resume. I'm not sure what the character was. Dr. Gravino, you know, okay, who's played in Psychonauts 2? A Rad Skull is asking, what does NMH stand for? Uh, actually, I'll tell you. Uh, way back in the day when Suda was first pitching the game to Nintendo, uh, the name No More Heroes actually uh, was born from a clerical error. Uh, the game was originally called No More Herpes, and then uh, someone at Nintendo must have like hit the wrong key on the keyboard. And later on, uh, during an interview, he was asked about the title. He's like, No More Heroes, what the hell? And just pulled that whole, like, oh, some Strangler song thing like out of his ass, and you know, the rest is history. I totally just made that up, but feel free to make a clip of just that part and spread it as official lore if you guys want. Someone telling me it's easy to get like, like hits on her, like physical hits on her, because it's not working. Trinity Bringer. You're right. Uh, I said it, so it's canon now. No more herpes. Honestly, I, I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally typed no more herpes and I'm like, shit, 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 shit. Backtrack really quick. I'm, like, I'm writing like a press release or translating a press release or something like that. <laughs> it does happen a lot because O and P are right next to each other, so. Says, Man, when, when will you ever get the VAs on board for the boss fight stream? That would be awesome. Uh, I'd love to do that. Um, I don't know if they would deign to, to hang out with us for a while for I a bet boss we, fight I bet, stream, I bet we could get Robin Atkin down to do something. Robin uh, popped in for a few seconds during our, our last Yeah, stream, he's just a cool dude who does stuff, so... <laughs> This fight is going really badly, so I'm probably gonna die. Just, just telling everybody. <laughs> I have really low health, and she's only like halfway done. By the way, the thing we were talking about this just before the stream started, but has she done that water kick thing yet? I don't think I, uh... so. Well, Shinobu has this close range attack called, uh, in Japanese it's called Sui Mengeri. It's, it's a pro wrestling move, or it's based on a pro wrestling move that's generally kind of directly translated as water kick. And when, when she, uh, when she whips that out, she screams like, Hashimoto! And 
uh, the reason she's screaming some random Japanese surname when she does that is because it was uh, inspired from and based on the uh, Japanese pro wrestler Shinya Hashimoto, who also has a similar name. I might just let her kill me and start over, because I'm not doing very well. That's the spirit, Maddie. We all want to see Travis get killed by Shinobu. This time. Give me a break. Don't fuck with me. Steve 4985 says, Will the Killer 7 Remaster ever come to console consoles? Can you say, honestly, uh, I can tell you with 100% honesty and confidence that I have no idea. I mean, the remaster came out quite a while ago, so ask Capcom. Go to Capcom yeah, and tell them. <laughs> that's more of a Capcom thing, unfortunately. We don't really have to say it. Jerry View says Shinobu also does a Hurricane. I, I know what you're talking about, but I can't pronounce it. Uh, in TSA to finish bosses, which is also sick as fuck. I agree. Uh, I, again, I can't pronounce it, but I know what move you're talking about, and that is indeed sick AF. Shinobu, do something. Are you. Airdor says, Are you guys in Suda? Will ever stream indie games? I want to see his thoughts. I want to see him play Pizza Tower. It's always time for Pizza Time. Uh, we have been talking with Suda about getting on here with us and maybe playing some, not just some, some Grasshopper games, but maybe trying out some indie games of his choice. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not outside the realm of possibility. Uh, it may happen at some point. Yeah, we're, we're really close with, uh, a good number of indie developers and, uh, I'm sure that, uh, there's a bunch of people that would be like, yeah, totally go ahead and play our game on your stream. So, uh, yeah, for example, Hotline Miami. Uh, we're, we're really cool with the Denaton guys. Um, I can't promise anything yet, but uh, the main problem is just that we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. Uh, and Suda is just a ridiculously busy dude at the moment. But um, one of the one of our uh, end game goals here on James Hopper Manufacturer is to finally actually get Suda here on stream playing some games so I can sit here and talk shit in English and mistranslate it so that I don't get fired. When are you guys going to do any of the 25th Ward boss fights? Um, the Silver Case and 25th Ward actually, uh, those are two more titles that are in serious consideration for some upcoming streams. Probably another Road to Boss Fight will be a different... Yeah, we might do, um, like, a localization focused, since James is the translator for both those games. And we've been, uh, I actually just, uh, well, just a few weeks ago, but I, uh, I got the, the Japanese and English localization files for Silver Case of 24, and they have been going through that stuff, and, uh, kind of cringing at some of my past sins, but <laughs> and also some of the stuff that, uh, not to try to like, you know, skip responsibility, but some of the stuff that, uh, other people kind of went and fucked up for me after it was on my hands, but, um, yeah, we're definitely looking into doing some Silver Case 25th Ward streams in some form, uh, also again in the not too distant future. Midnight Twilight Syndrome Live Translation Streams. Um, Maddie, any thoughts on that? I mean, yeah, those are uh, those are those are human games. So, but those are ones that Suda worked on. So, you know. I've never played nor translated those games, so I can't. Right. I can't say anything. But <laughs> Any more fun facts about Shinobu? Sorry, I was uh, watching you run around, I gotta space it out. 
Oh, oh yeah, sorry. I like can't talk right now because I'm just sucking no, so it's, much it's that I have to focus. <laughs> um, let me think. All right, so uh, to recap, uh, real name Scarlett Jacobs. She's uh, 18 years old, so technically it's not that skeezy that you're beating on a high school student because she's, I guess, technically an adult in the United States. <laughs> uh, Travis originally learned swordsmanship from watching uh, tapes, uh, which are kind of like... Uh, I was gonna say Blu-rays, but even those are kind of old. Yeah, now, it's I like guess, streaming. <laughs> it's like streaming, except it came in this weird black brick that we used to have to buy back in the day. You had to um, buy a separate brick for every movie. <laughs> he uh, he learned swordsmanship from watching these tapes that uh, her dad uh, her dad made. Uh, her dad is Master Jacobs, and um, in case you uh, uh, in case you were to wear, they're having this fight to begin with because Shinobu is uh, she's the eighth ranked, I believe eighth number eight yes. ranked uh, assassin at this mo at this point, and uh, so you know Travis is trying to climb up the ranks, but she also believes that Travis is the dude who murdered her dad. Um, he's got a similar uh, beam katana to the dude who actually did murder her dad, and so she's you know. Uh, understandably pissed. So Master Jacobs has been murdered. Uh, Shinobu is pissed, trying to murder the dude who murdered her dad, and Travis is just trying to make a few bucks and screw his girlfriend. So, super healthy relationship we've got here. But, uh, I think it's gonna be sure we should fuck that. So, uh, Can you confirm if Travis's brother, brother killed Shinobu's dad? TV 16 bit. Actually, you know what? In my notes that I got from uh, Nobutaka Ichiki, who is one of the, the Grasshopper OGs who has worked on most of the Grasshopper games so far, uh, the notes that I got for him specifically for this stream, they actually say that uh, Shinobu believes that Henry killed her dad. And it may have been Henry who killed her dad, but even in, in his notes, uh, it's not 100% clear. So, I don't know, <laughs> is, is the simple answer. I'm, I'm not sure if they left that kind of vague and ambiguous on purpose, or just kind of forgot to get back to it at some point, but uh, it was I probably bet it's, I Henry. bet it's the latter. <laughs> it, it probably was the latter, yeah. There, there's a lot of ideas that come and go, so. Random question, Trinity Bringer. Any reason why Suda likes Ireland so much? From Dan and Henry being Irish, Mask the Smith using Irish wrestling techniques, the Bloody Sunday reference, etc. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll ask Suda later today. Let's see what he says. Um, I know this is probably going to piss off uh, certain people from certain regions. But there is a chance that Suda may possibly be sort of, you know, uh, blending together the whole British Isles as one general country or region. <laughs> uh, it just happens to be that some of the stuff that he's into comes from Ireland. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ask him if he happens, if there's any reason he happens to be particularly into Irish stuff. Too, so. Should not have done this on bitter. This was such a bad idea. Dying. You should be a pussy like me and just play every game on like the easiest possible. Well, I was worried that if I played it on New Game Plus on normal, it would be too easy because I'm all like leveled up. Oh, because you're so badass, right, Betty? Right, because I'm so good at games. R rub in, just try to rub in the fact that I, I suck and can absolutely not do these streams myself. Well, I'm not doing much of a better job, so. Also, regarding the Dan Smith thing, um, honestly, every time I see somebody on Twitter, whatever, bring up Dan Smith from the the Grasshopper game, the first thing that comes to mind is Dan Smith BYU from the uh, the uh, Key and Peel sketch. I mean, I just so, think it's I, funnier I'll... that one of the Killer Seven characters is named Kevin Smith. People get confused oh, really? with that one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> 
Actually, that's, that's one of those names that it could go either way. It could be like pseudo watch clerks and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna like put this guy my put this guy's name in my game or this Kevin Smith is such a common ass like English name that he's like, yeah, okay. Well, they're all Smith, and they just named one Kevin. Yeah. I think that's all it was to it. Kevin Smith from Xena Warrior Princess. Xena Warrior Princess. I forgot about that show. Um. Yeah, let's say it's Kevin Smith from Xena Warrior Princess. That's exactly who it was based on. Uh, it's now canon because I said so. Honest, I uh, I'm still having audio problems and can't hear most of what's going on. She doesn't know she's mobile thing yet. So. I haven't heard her say it. Is that definitely in this game too? It's, it's not just like a No More Heroes 2 or TSA thing or something. I don't know. TV 16 bit says, "Oh, I got another question. If you can answer a spoiler for No More Heroes 3, uh, go for it. We'll see what I can do." got him in the bathroom. Um, well, how do I explain this? Technically, he, he did really die. He was dead at one point. But, uh, put simply, he's such a badass and, uh, you know, so important to the franchise that he was basically resurrected. So, it wasn't like a hallucination or like a dream sequence. He technically did actually die. But, uh, he came back. So, uh, it's a shitty answer, but that's basically the official no answer No way, that's question. a cool answer. <laughs> oh shit, not supposed to do that on stream, sorry about that. The Dream Bringer says, I'm surprised she hasn't tried doing her insta-kill yet. Yeah, I was, I was hearing a lot about this insta-kill, but she just kind of seems to be slowly Yeah, it usually, your ass. I think it... <laughs> Thanks. Her insta kill <laughs> usually comes pretty late, at least when I fight her. Um, which is awful because you like get her, you finally like whittle her down and then she just freaking kills you. you. Spend so much time trying to get her. He's just like, boop, you're done. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, TV 16 bit about the whole the Travis really die thing. Um, I seem to remember Pseudo was asked about that a while back uh, in an interview that I was interpreting for, for him for, and I, I could be wrong, I'm not 100% confident, but I'm pretty sure he said that there was an actual specific, like, you know, in game or in universe lore reason, whatever, that he was resurrected or that he didn't actually fully die and came back but uh he actually uh refused to elaborate so honestly i'm not sure if that was one of those things where he's like i know exactly what's going on i'm just not going to tell you it may come up at some some point in the future or he was like shut up we did it except the game I'm, I, I'm i really don't know but he did actually fully die at one point and then came back so simna what's your theory Oh, 
Cloning. That's 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 a good point. I uh, I mean it's totally something that that uh, I wouldn't be surprised seeing in the No More Heroes universe. And also uh, somehow being Death Drive related. No 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 no. Oh! Look at that! Well, there's your insta kill, everybody. Girl power, Maddie. Girl power. I just did that on purpose so everyone could see it. <laughs> I know you all really wanted to see it, so I, that's why I, I took it. I took it for you guys. <coughs> took one for the team. I am absolutely running out of facts about the shield move in this game, so... That's fine. That's, uh, that's my fault. You didn't expect anybody's... me to freaking do this fight three times. Wait, okay, I just got hit up right at the beginning. I'm starting over again. Wait, can I start over? Uh, Erdor, good question. Uh, any plans for the 25th anniversary? We were also just talking about this just before the stream, but I cannot tell you how many meetings we're having every week regarding our plans for the 25th anniversary. Not to get your, your hopes up super high, it's not saying we're doing a whole bunch of super cool shit, but um, we definitely have some plans for the 25th anniversary. Uh, I'm probably not supposed to tell you any of this stuff at this point, but uh, I'm going to anyway. But uh, we're probably going to be breaking it down into a couple separate specific uh, events, I guess you could say, uh, while also doing some stuff like on Twitter, social media, here on Twitch, or whatever. Um, hopefully some of it will be super special, not just regular special, but um, yeah, we, we are absolutely aware of the whole 25th anniversary thing, and we've been racking our brains about what we can do to celebrate the 25th anniversary, not just to kind of, you know, not just for a sort of like grasshopper manufacturer internal circle jerk type thing whatever but something that like you know the fans will actually appreciate so uh we will be doing some stuff uh regarding the 25th anniversary and uh some form of announcements uh should be coming up in the near future So it's my understanding that the console hooked up to the TV in Harmon's room of Killer7 is the prototype of the death, the death drive described in the TSA notes. Maddie, you know anything about that? I, I have, I'll, I'll be honest, I have very little memory of that, Killer7. That's something you'd have to get confirmed, so that's not something I can answer. Oh, that's another thing to ask Suda about. Are you making a list? I actually am. I'm oh. taking notes and stuff to asked about the Ireland thing and <laughs> the console hooked up to the TV to Harmon's room being the Death Drive. When did Grasshopper plan to release the Death Drive uh, Mark 1 and get the Pseudoverse into real life? Um, and we're just waiting for technology to catch up with us, man. We're just trying to work out the ramen feature. Like, for some reason, the, like, the Death Drive all works and everything, but for some reason, when you put ramen in it, it just, like, doesn't cook right. So, once we get that figured out. Speaking of ramen, and since I've run out of Shinobu facts, I read something interesting the other day. 31% of severe burns suffered by children in the emergency room are caused by instant ramen in the United States. In the United States? Making, in the United States. I swear I'm not making this up. I, I read this in the news yesterday. And I, wow. assume, I was thinking, like, why, you know, I'm reading like the English news. Like, why is this you know, rattling off some weird, not so fun fun fact about like, Japan? But no, it was in the United States. It was like the, some hospital in Chicago or something. 31% of severe burns for children are due to instant ramen. So be careful that instant ramen, you guys. It's some, it's some dangerous shit. 
Chicago is generally known as being a very peaceful and safe city, so just watch out for the instant vomit. Sneak up on ya. I, I can't give a concrete answer, but um, do they have I a VR say, in the office? You know what? I I feel like one of the last times I actually went into the office, I did see some sort of VR setup. Uh, I'm not savvy enough with the whole VR thing to tell you like what kind it was or you know what it's compatible with, but I'm pretty sure I've seen something. Uh, <laughs> wow, super crafty that's answer, great. But... I, this one dude probably saw something. Tell your friends, you guys. So. <laughs> TV 16 bit, because I remember my first time making instant ramen, the instructions were very confusing. I ended up burning water. Seriously. How do like, you burn water? I mean, there's like three whole steps, and you need like fire and like tools and shit. And, wait, like, wait, no, I'm not. I, not I need to understand fine, how you, you know? burn water. It just happens, Maddie. Okay, deal with it. I, I, I burn water and ice cubes and stuff all the time. To be fair, I was heating up some um, kushikatsu last night, and I had them in my little fish grill, and then I like was looking and I was like wow I didn't know my fish grill had a light and then I looked inside and one of the sticks was on fire so yeah. on, on a similar note my daughter about two days ago uh, lit a panda on fire a panda yeah, she's got this little stuffed panda that we got How from did she light World, it on fire and, uh, she left it like literally about this far in front of this like what do you call it? Like a space heater thing that we have, and turned it up full blast uh, without telling anyone in a room that was where the door is closed, so we had no idea what was going on. And wow. I swear I felt some, something burning. So I walk into burning the bedroom panda. and this little tiny panda that was just catching on fire. It's like, oh my god, there. that's terrifying. <laughs> the panda's name is Steve, by the way. Steve, uh, Steve survived with the slight injuries. He's gonna be okay. Wait, why is the panda named Steve? My daughter is six. I, I have no idea. <laughs> like, what do you want to name the panda? Steve! Okay, man. I'm sure. Does she play uh, Minecraft? Uh, she doesn't, but she does play No More Heroes 3, actually. <laughs> she plays Mario Kart and, uh, uh, what's it called? Super Mario 3D Adventure World, or 3D World, whatever it's called. And No More Heroes 3 are her three favorite games. All the kids at I'm, my school play Minecraft. Yeah, I don't think she has any idea what Minecraft is. I've, uh, I've been trying, so... <laughs> How did she get a hold of, of No More Heroes 3? Uh, because I specifically handed the controller to the controller and said, Daddy and his friend Suda-san made this game. You should play this. It's awesome. Uh, I am not a model parent, per se, but... <laughs> You know, I uh, I like to do what I can, and she's <laughs> she 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 has a blast playing it. So, she able to kill the bosses? Well, I put it on the easiest mode, where she, like you can barely like I'm not sure you're able to die. So right. It takes for a while, but she, Still, uh, though. she does take a pretty good amount of bass at it. Yeah. Here's the avocado says like father like daughter exactly my my daughter is basically a, a tinier uh, much prettier female version of me she's got similar tastes and stuff. she's like six years old and she was into kate bush before it was cool <laughs> and like she <laughs> she plays no more heroes 3 and uh has no idea what's going on but loves watching like night in the woods and stuff yeah she's uh she's a cool she's pretty cool for a six-year-old yeah, I used to watch my dad play games when I was a kid. I'd watch him play like Alone in the Dark and Doom and 
every time he'd be like, you're not gonna have any bad dreams, are you? And I'd be like, no, of course not. And then I would every, every single time. I had a reoccurring nightmare about one of the zombies from Alone in the Dark. And then when you go and look at it, it's like made of three polygons. <laughs> See, there's that age gap thing again. I was, I was teaching my dad how to play like OG Nintendo games and stuff. He was like, what is this thing? It's, there's more than one button. Where's the stick? I'm like, no, man, you gotta go like this and you gotta go like this and stuff, you know? Yeah, there's the, uh, the generation gap again. Was, was, and it was No More Heroes 3 slated to have more content at any point? Uh, honestly, it was. At one point, we, we did, uh, we were planning on adding some DLC later on. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it didn't work out. It's not like a deal fell through or anything. Uh, to be honest, uh, Suda and the team felt that the, the game that came out, uh, well, yeah, it would be cool to have some, you know, more playable characters, some extra DLC, whatever. Um, they felt that it did, uh, it, it, it was a complete game as it was. Uh, they were happy with it the way, the way it was, uh, the way it was, the way it came out. And, um, put simply, uh, the decision, the decision was made that it would probably be, uh, better use of resources in our time to work on new content rather than going in and just adding like a new mode or something. So uh, there were plans to add more content to the Four Heroes 3 at one point, but uh, we've moved on from there. It's uh, super simple. Oh my god, our freaking taunt keeps getting me. I'm so mad. James, what was your very first video game? Honestly, this is gonna date the shit out of me, but my very first video game was probably either Pac-Man or Pitfall or Keystone Cops on the Atari. I'm gonna switch controllers because my hands are getting tired. Sorry. Maddie making excuses for getting her ass kicked again. I... My hands are getting cramped <laughs> because I'm sucking so bad. Did my glasses disappear again? Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt was that was one of like my that was one of my first games. Yeah, I remember we got a we got a Nintendo uh, the original NES when it first came out. Um, we got the pack that had. Mario, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Gyromite, with, with Rob the Robot and everything. Wow. And, uh, Duck Hunt was, was one of my first proper games. So. I still remember the day when I figured out how to use the, the second controller to, like, some extent move the ducks around and stuff. It's cool with my little brother. That was, uh, that was kind of a revelation for me back in the time. How about you, Maddie? Do you remember what was your first, uh, what was your first video game? Um, yeah, I mean, I had, because when I was born, Super Nintendo had already come out, but we always kept both our Nintendo and our Super Nintendo hooked up. So, I don't know, like, I don't have a memory of playing a game for the first time, because we just, like, always had them in our house. Yeah. So, uh, but I played, you know, Mario Brothers and Super Mario World and Zelda and all those classic NES games. I'm a big fan of Super Mario Brothers 2, even though it's fake Mario. Honestly, of, of the original, like, what, three or four games in the Mario Brothers series, that's, that's probably my favorite. I, it's I my know. favorite, too. I know... Most people like three, and I think it's generally considered a better game. And honestly, it probably is like a better game, but I don't know. I always like two, and also for some reason, my grandma really liked two, so I have memories of playing it with my grandma. Yeah, Mario Brothers Two uses Peach. Was like that was. Yeah, she could float. Never use any other character. Her door says, do you keep in touch with your old players and colleagues? Honestly, uh, recently I've just been super busy in and out of work, so I, I haven't been keeping in as much touch as I should be, but um, 
I uh, I didn't leave on bad terms or anything. So there are uh, there are a few people that I, I I talk I speak to once in a while. Um, I still live here in Osaka where the place is based. So I uh, I've been meaning to go visit the office and see what's up and everything at some point. Just haven't got around to it. But um, there are one or two people uh, that I do talk to once in a while. Yeah. Maddie, do you uh, do you keep in touch with my old players and colleagues? <laughs> All the time. We're going out this weekend. <laughs> Just gonna talk about how much you suck. <laughs> Shinobu. That float as Peach and Super Mario Brothers 2, that was indeed that was that was awesome. I remember being like a little boy back in like the late eighties, being like playing as a girl. You know, she's wearing a pink dress and stuff. But then once I like, got over that bullshit, it was like, she can float. Like this is awesome. I'm never not playing as much again. Yeah, everyone else sucks. It's definitely. How about you guys in chat? Anybody else remember specifically their their first game? Oh, they're all gonna the sit. They're gonna they're say like PlayStation game. Two stuff, and then I'm gonna feel really old. <laughs> I'm I'm basically old enough to be your like older brother, <laughs> stepdad or something. I guess so. <laughs> if my if my mom was a cougar, you're old enough to be my stepdad. <laughs> Tennis for Atari, nice. Wow. I definitely remember that one. So that was that just like Pong? It was tennis. Oh. Get, my bad. It was the times, Maddie. Damn. Game Boy Advance, Scooby Doo, Mario Kart, yes, with Pac Man. Nice. Game Boy Advance, Scooby Doo, Avocado classic. Is, mine is PlayStation 1 and it makes you feel better, Maddie. So. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hi, right, hold on. I gotta stop everything here because I read the name Biff Cannon, which is one of the greatest characters ever written in fiction. Simba says, I heard the greatest Biff Cannonism the other day, and now I also think it would be a great line for Sylvie. He said, Travis, I'm throwing an edging party and you aren't invited. And Biff, Biff Cannonisms. There should be. Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this kind of stuff on chat, but there should be a religion based on Biff Cannon. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Okay. No, I was gonna make a comment about current US politics. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. Let's not get into that, but Back to the Future is a great series. Uh, I love, uh, I love Biff Tanner, I love the series. <laughs> there we go. A little Grasshopper oh James God, fun fact. I can't how long that took me. When I go get my hair cut, I generally just show the dude a picture of Biff Tannen, and I go, just, just, just do it like that. Biff Tannen's number one so. fan here. What are you waiting for? <laughs> All right, we sliced off Shinobu's arm. Don't look at me like that. Th yeah. These are Airdor's words, I not mine. Although they absolutely also are mine. But fucking finally, Maddie. Hey. You, you killed him. So what hard. Did you you <laughs> she, I didn't. I just. I just wanted you guys to whoa, look whoa. at Shinobu for Calm like 45 minutes because she's cool. That's all. She is awesome. And now Another, she gets a sweet her. robot arm. Another uh, fun fact that uh, I may or not be completely making up, uh, Shinobu Jacobs was the very first uh, female POC character ever in a video game ever in history, just so you guys know. So, you can thank Grasshopper for that. Sounds like a bit straight out of a samurai movie, don't it? Shut up! Shut up and kill me already! You've already dishonored me enough. Do it yourself. Please. I'll fight you anytime, anytime. In order, yeah, she gets her arm ripped okay. off again, but both of them in No More Heroes 3. She's Shinobu does not have good luck with the arm stuff, unfortunately. Nobody look at my rank, it's embarrassing. Look at the rank, everybody. <laughs> everybody look at the rank right now. Go, um, 
can go bother her now. Just run some just run some laps around her. Victory laps. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Eat my dust, Shinobu. Alright. Enough of that. Getting wily coyote on her again. <laughs> <laughs> and Sylvie's just kinda chilling out. She has like an invisible force field, so we can't go in for a kiss. Um, another fun fact that uh, I may or may not be making up and that I guess chronologically chronologically play probably makes no sense is the character of Sylvia, as you can see here, was absolutely based on Maddie in real life. All the all the blonde characters in um, Grasshopper games are based on me. Blonde white girl with something on their head or in their hair, clearly Maddie. So I'm the only one. So. Hell no. See the girl on Travis's shirt, also based on me. Also Maddie. Her name is Cranberry, my name's Raspberry, you know? Just stole my identity right there. Noel showed I says, the thing I remember about No More Heroes that I wasn't too happy they removed in 2, if I recall correctly, was open world exploration. Um, Honestly, a lot of people were not happy about that. Um, that was just something they kind of tried out, and unfortunately, it wasn't a huge hit. I mean, the whole removal of the, the open world exploration. But um, I wasn't there at the time, but uh, representing Grasshopper, I'd like to say sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> Bad Girl and Sylvie and Cranberry based on Maddie. I hope Maddie's getting a pay raise. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I might actually fire her just because, hey. you know, she's got more followers than I do on Twitter, and it's hurting my feelings, so. <laughs> just yeah. to, to make myself feel better. That's fair. All right, well, there we go. That was Shinobu. Eventually. It only took me... Only took me one try. I did it on my first try. You all saw it. <laughs> yeah, everyone say good job, Maddie. W one try. We're super proud of you. One try. S rank. Amazing. All right. <laughs> so, any any last any last words, James? Um. I'm pretty much out of Shinobu and No More Heroes 1 fun yeah, facts. Yeah, you ran out of facts. My... You ran out of facts like an hour ago. Yeah, I uh I had a long uh couple nights. So I ran out of facts a while ago. But um anybody got any final questions or comments or uh, racial slurs they'd like to sling in to get us in trouble at work, or I just like that, that we have that? Travis, like this lady talking about Travis humping a pillow in the background, just to close everything out. Wait, what? Yeah, because he like was supposed to return one of the porn videos, but instead oh. he sent he sent a video of him humping a pillow, which is a pillow of a of a male wrestler. So Travis, I think Travis, uh, you know, I think he might swing both ways. Good for him. He's he's very pro he's a very progressive character for the time. He loves milfs. He loves lollies. He loves male wrestlers. Where could you want? <laughs> and he's got a baby little kitty. Grizzly Avocado says, "Good job." Erdor says, "Thank you. Let me rest." TV sixteen bit says, "The important part is you didn't quit." Which. <laughs> I mean, if we're being that super generous to Maddie, yeah, that's that's the important part. Thanks. But uh, super, super generous. But uh, love the game series. Happy you guys enjoyed it. I've played it on the stream. Thanks a lot for coming. Thanks for enjoying it. Um, uh, I can't speak for Maddie, but I'm going to. Uh, she had an awesome time playing it. This is the best hour and a half she's ever had in her life. And uh, I was also super happy to uh, to be a part of it as well. Uh, Trinity Bringer says, Travis, bisexual confirmed. We'd love to see it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's not deny that. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's make that canon just because I kind of can. So. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Um, why didn't the girl from Beefhead, re uh, re why didn't the girl from Beefhead videos return or who is the voice actor? I don't know, actually. Um, Maddie? 
do you happen to have any idea who the voice actor was? No. Nope. The, the girl from Beefhead? From Beefhead? Uh, that is something I do not know. That's something else to look into. I'll see what I can get on what I can get on that. So, um, yeah, I think that's, uh... <laughs> She's just so... Look at her, look at her legs. She's just, like, kind out. Of a creepy rendering, but, you know. Hey, these are, you know, these are upscaled Wii graphics. They're doing their best. As was the style of the time, you know. What exactly. Alright, well, everybody, thank um, you so much for coming. Um, we don't know when we'll do our next stream, but there'll be future ones. Eventually. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely gonna try and do them a bit more uh, a bit more often uh, from here on out. Um, yeah, I'll get, like as many said, thanks a lot for coming. Um, we had a great time. Uh, I'm gonna try and come up with some more fun facts as well as fun, just totally pull out of my ass, totally not true facts that I'm gonna forcibly make canon uh, for the next one. And uh, yeah, we'll be announcing on Twitter at some time in the near future when and what the next stream will be. So in the meantime, um, if you guys have any suggestions, recommendations, ideas, feel free to hit us up on Twitter. Uh, the, both the English and Japanese feeds are, uh, are pretty well checked. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Maddie, you, uh, you got anything else you want to say before we cut off? No, nope, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching me suffer through that try to do better next time so I'd, I'd like to apologize for my uh illegitimate step colleague maddie for sucking so hard that uh she didn't get through shinobu in one go but you know we uh we'll try to be generous so all right better thanks luck lot, next guys. time yeah thanks everybody <laughs> hope to see you next time and have a great rest of your day bye have a great weekend you guys <laughs>